Hi, I'm Norman Goldman. Thanks for being with me on the video version of the Norman Goldman Show. On our radio show, Monday through Friday, we do a lot of law and people appreciate the teaching. So that seems to be very popular. So let's do a segment on a type of civil law known as divorce law. Now this is very common. Lots of people know people that have been divorced. And in fact, the truth is half the marriages, of course, now end in divorce. Now you need to understand some of the history here. Back in the old days, like a hundred years ago, law made it very difficult to get a divorce. And the reason for that was because of religion and all kinds of moral views. And there was a lot of this, we stay together for the sake of the kids stuff. And there was a lot of tension in the house. And, you know, the two spouses were cheating on each other and all. Marriage became kind of a sham because a lot of people wanted to get divorced. They wanted to move on with their lives, but the law made it very difficult to get a divorce. As society changed and evolved over the last hundred years, divorce became what is known as no-fault divorce, where now you can get out of a marriage quite easily. But divorce is now no fault virtually everywhere. And in fact, because the computers have you know, revolutionized the courts as well as the rest of our lives, now many court forms have been reduced to checkbox complaints. And it's very easy to do law forms with a lot of checking of boxes on computers or with a pen. Now, when you get a divorce, you can grab one of these forms and all you've got to do is check a box called irreconcilable differences and you don't even have to give grounds for it. Now, that makes it easy to get divorced and that has sparked a lot of social upset because a lot of the religious people say, well, you shouldn't be able to get a divorce, you know, as easily as you change your socks and all of that. But as a society, we've kind of moved away from that and decided that if two people want to get married, we should make it easy for them to get married. But understand this in a divorce. I have never seen in my 25 years of practicing the law an area of the law that engenders so much bitterness and hatred and hostility just ugliness. I have seen and read about divorces that have resulted in deaths and murders and maimings. It's just, it's awful. There's so much emotion invested in marriages and then divorces. That's why I never really got involved in them. It's just too emotionally trying. And to see two people ripping each other apart over a divorce is really hard to watch, but it happens all the time. So understand this, if you're going to get a divorce, you need your own divorce attorney. Some people try it without uh, lawyers and that can be a little rough. Some people manage to do it and there are divorces that are done very smoothly, very professionally, and uh, people can do it without a, without a lawyer, especially if there are no children involved and especially if the, there's no big fight over the money. Now there are judges, especially in the larger counties and the big urban centers, there are judges who specialize in divorce and child custody cases because they get to be so contentious and so ugly. If you or somebody you care about is about to get a divorce, you should tell them that they're going to need to stockpile a big chunk of cash because the lawyers are expensive and these cases drag on forever, especially if there's kids involved and there's child custody and there's shared custody. What happens is one of the spouses often runs back into court and wants to modify the child custody order. So the judges are constantly dealing with these cases and sometimes they seemingly never end. Most divorce cases when there are children involve joint custody, meaning the child or children of the marriage are formally in the custody of both parents, but there's always fighting and these divorce cases never seem to you know, end because there's always fighting over money needing to be readjusted. If the husband gets a better job and is paying alimony, the ex-wife will want more. And sometimes we'll see the ex-husband say, you know, I don't have a job and I don't have any money to pay. And so my Maybe not legal advice to you, but my just general advice would be really think about getting married. You're making a life-changing decision. And whether you have kids or not, getting married is quite a commitment and a divorce can be a very, very emotionally scarring event. Now, of course, in our modern times, people have children without getting married and you still have all the same child custody issues and all of that. So maybe I'm not being a lawyer here, but after being a lawyer all this time and watching what I've watched, be careful about what you do. And understand, divorce lawyers make a lot of money and they keep these cases going. And oftentimes the people involved, the divorcees, keep them going too because they just want to use the legal system to get back at the other person. Be careful what you do. We'll see you next time on the video version of the Norman Goldman Show.